Hey Sightgoers, welcome back to another video. Before we begin, we would like to thank you for all the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to help everyone learn more about psychology and mental health in a fun and digestible manner. Now, let's begin. Did you know that your attachment style can say a lot about you? In the same way the Myers-Briggs personality type can reveal the kind of person you are, your attachment style can also provide insight into the types of relationships you're likely to develop. However, you should note that just as with any type or style, this is only meant to be a guide. So keep watching to find out what your attachment style says about you. So what are the attachment styles? Attachment styles look into the relationships between people. It was first developed by John Balby, who was interested in the behaviors infants had expressed when separated from their caregivers. He defined attachment as a lasting psychological connectedness between human beings which can be observed and categorized through a pattern of behaviors and motivations. These attachment behaviors were later developed into four distinct categories, secure, anxious ambivalent, avoidant, and disorganized attachment. Secure attachment. Are you comfortable with yourself? Children with a secure attachment are more independent and have a good sense of self-esteem, which helps them perform well in school and with social relationships. As adults, you're able and more willing to attend to the needs of your loved ones without complications. According to Mark Manson, people with a secure attachment are able to reassure anxious types and give space to avoidant types without feeling insecure. Your strong sense of independence and healthy self-esteem allows you to set healthy boundaries in your relationships. Anxious ambivalent attachment. Are you always suspicious or doubtful of other people's intentions? Anxious or ambivalent attachment in children may have been a result of inconsistent attention from caregivers. Your parents may become warm and nurturing one minute and cold and insensitive the next, which may make you confused and distrustful of them. Yet, you still have to cling to them to get your needs met. This alertness and suspicion of others will carry over into adulthood, where you may require constant reassurance for the anxiousness and distrustfulness you feel. Avoidant attachment. You withdraw yourself or repress your emotions when you're stressed. As a child, those who develop avoidant attachment likely did not have their needs met by their caregiver. You may have been discouraged from crying or expressing your feelings, which may cause you to lean to ignore your wants, needs, and sensations to maintain your relationship with your caregiver. This habit to disconnect and minimize your emotions can continue on to adulthood. As an adult with an avoidant attachment, you may perceive your partner as needing too much attention or being too clingy, since you are uncomfortable with emotional intimacy. Disorganized, avoidant, fearful attachment. Do you sometimes not know how to react or feel about your parents? Disorganized attachment develops when a child feels that there is no secure way to get their needs met. As a child, your relationship with an unpredictable caregiver may cause you to have difficulty establishing a consistent view of your parents and yourself. Unfortunately, these confusions and behaviors can carry over into adulthood, affecting your relationships with others. You may have trouble developing good social and emotional regulation skills, where you end up prioritizing the behaviors that will get your needs met. So, what can you do? If you're worried that you may have an insecure attachment style that's interfering with your relationships, it's important to talk to a mental health professional who can help you identify what you may be experiencing and how you can support yourself through it. Do any of the attachment styles sound familiar to you? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. All the references used are also added in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification icon for more videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.